Hey everyone, Simon and Alex here from Top Tennis Training, the biggest online tennis coaching platform in the world. We are the biggest, the, the most followed. Thanks to you guys. Yep, it's all up to you. This video today, we're going to talk about the Australian Open. Okay, we all know it's coming. We're all ready for it. We're all pumped. But some of the players are not playing, Simon. I know. Why don't you tell the viewers who is not playing, why they're not playing, and what's that going to do to the draw? Well, Murray's not playing, he's just had hip surgery. Nishikori's still struggling with wrist injuries. And Serena Williams is obviously recovering from giving birth. And Azarenka's having issues with her uh, ex-husband on custody. So that's why they're all missing. What will it do? Murray, I don't think he's favorite, even if he was playing, and Nishikori the same. I miss Murray. He just Murray. added a bit of something to the draw, you know, like he was, like when he- Got that he, heart. Yeah, he got the heart. He's you got know? the heart, like, man. If we've got Rafa, but if Rafa's not on form, if Rafa's injured, if we don't get that, you know, I, I just- It's a big miss. It's gonna be a big miss, and I just don't know if it's gonna be the same without these guys. So that's, what do you guys think? I mean, do you think it's going to be the same without Murray, without Nishikori? Do you think that Rafa's going to play? Do you think that Mavrinka's going to play? Do you think Djokovic is going to play? So there's three big names out there that could potentially miss the tournament. I mean, surely that leaves Federer, Federer as the, the complete favourite, right? It, it should do. I mean, sometimes what happens is, like, and we've seen this with the World Tour Finals, sometimes because Federer's so expected to win, I think it almost might make him not win. You know, I think we might have an upset, and this could be potentially the year that uh, a new player wins a Grand Slam. We Ooh. haven't had this in so long. So you're going out and saying you're going to predict that someone else? No, I didn't say that, Simon. <laughs> I think Federer is still going to, going to clean up here if those guys are not going to play. But I think there's a, a big possibility if, if there was an upset with Federer, obviously, then yeah. And the draw's wide open. I, I think someone like Dimitrov could take a slam. I agree. I think completely. someone like Zverev could take a slam. I think Zverev at the moment, you know, unproven in five sets, hasn't really done great in Grand Slams, but he has beaten Federer before. He's got the game to win. You know, he's won, he's won Master Series titles. He's, he's up there with the best. So, yes. you know, we've got team, we've got Kyrgios. Do you see those guys winning a Grand Slam right now? Winning seven best of five yes, sets match? Because the Kyrgios? Because the other guys are not playing. Now, be Federer honest, come the, on, be honest. Federer is the only guy that's in the draw, you know, that one of these guys could have a great, 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 great day, match. But great then they still have to go on through but the rest it, of the But then they're playing the other guys who they can beat, you know. If there was a Djokovic, Wawrinka, Murray, all in the draw, yes, I don't think it's going to happen. And I, and I don't think it's going to happen on the other tournaments, I don't think, they, the other Grand Slams, I don't think we're going to have a, a, a new winner just because I think by then Djokovic is going to be back. I think on clay we have Rafa as the, the, the as champion, the king. You know, I, don't, I can't really look past him to win his 11th. Um, and I think Federer's favourite for the grass so that you know it doesn't leave many Grand Slams open. You yes. know? And I think this is the one, if they were going to do it, this is the one where they will because I agree the, on others that are, point. the others are not fit yet, you know? don't you think? What do you guys think? Get involved, leave a comment down below, and also to have a chance to win one of our courses, which we sell between $200 and $400. To win one of those courses, predict who you think is gonna win the men's and the women's draws, and make sure that you click the like button. I, I like that, that's a real good competition, guys. Look, it gives you a chance, just yep. for commenting, just for liking this video, leaving a comment under the, 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 the video underneath, Leave a, a comment of who's going to win, the women's and the men's. After the tournament's done, we're going to look at the winners. We're going to get in touch with you and uh, you can watch some of our videos on our website. Everyone's a winner. Right, let's get back to the draw. We've got let's get back into it. So, um, some of the uh, potential quarter-finalists, who are we looking at? Potentially, we've got Nadal versus Chilich. Who are you picking for that? I'm going for Chilich, just because Nadal, I just don't think he's fit. I don't think he's fit either, but if he gets through to the quarterfinals, four matches, that's a lot of tennis. By then Chilich is firing. He's, he's, he's By then big. Chilich is firing, but so is Nadal, and Nadal's in form. If Nadal gets in form, he goes back into the final, I see. Okay, we're going to have to review. So I pick Chilich, you pick Nadal. I pick Rafa. Next, we've got Dimitrov and Sok, if they both get there. How do you see that going? Okay, Sok, I like Sok. You know, he's got that, like, he's got something about him. He's, he's got, got that firepower. Aggression. But Dimitrov, come on, he's... He's moment, on form, he's, he's confident. He's the guy to watch, and I think yes. he's, like, uh, he's one of my 
picks for the tournament even. I think he could really go far because he's on form, he's playing well, uh, you know, he's losing that image of baby Federer, you know, yeah. he's, he is Dimitrov now, you know, he's the guy to watch out. So I think he could do well and I think he would beat Sob, to be honest, I just don't... I'd agree on that. I'd say that he's got more tools in his, in his bag to beat Sob. 100%, Sop. 100%. Okay, team or Warinka to play Djokovic or Sverev if they all get there. So... Okay, I'm going to write off Warinka, I just don't think he's going to be fit enough. Me too, I'd say he's uh, probably going to pull out yeah. or lose early. Team, hundred. I think team could, could get there and yes. I think, ooh, Djokovic or who's Djokovic playing? Djokovic, Zverev. Zverev. I'd ooh. see, I I'd think see Zverev, Zverev could do both. an upset yes. and I think it's going to be team against Zverev. That's a very good pick, I like that sir. And I'd pick Zverev to win that. Yes, on a hard court, especially yes. the way that he's playing right now, Zverev I guess is favourite. I guess it all depends on how the courts are playing. You know, it what does. are the conditions? If the courts are playing a little bit slower and the bounce is higher, then it may be favour team. You know, he said it's more spinny, he might grind, he down, the grind down Zverev a little bit. Whereas yes. if it's playing a little faster, you know, Zverev's got that bigger game almost, he can just like hit through hit him a little players, bit. Exactly. Uh, and I think, I think it, yeah, he, he'd be more favourite if the courts are playing faster. And we're actually still waiting to hear uh, from some of my friends in, uh, in Australia now, um, who uh, are going to be competing, are going to let me know just how the courts are playing. And I think that's a, a really big factor in, uh, in, in the matches. Well. Yes. He does well. Again, also, it could depend on the, 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 the temperature of the match. Like if it's the time of the day as well. Yeah, high temperatures, balls fly faster, favors the bigger hitters. Exactly. You know, so it all depends on the conditions. But those two guys, I think, definitely to watch out for. So let's see what happens. And the last quarterfinal, potentially, Goffin Del Potro against Federer. Okay, so well, let's have a look. Del Potro has just made it back into the top 10. He's yeah. in the semi-finals in Auckland. He's playing against Ferrer, I think, tomorrow. So he's, he's actually come back up and you yes. know, it looks like his injuries are behind him. He's yeah. getting back in he's shape. He's getting back in shape. Goffin, though, you know, he, he's going to make uh, him play a lot of tennis. Great end of year. Make, yeah, the great end of year. He's going to play make uh, Del Potro plays. It all depends on whether Del Potro can hit through Goffin and, and really impose his game on Goffin. And it, then we've so, got a chance, you yes. know, because I think I just think Goffin is a little bit too solid now for you know to lose that match. So yes. I'd I'd pick Goffin to play Federer, and I think that would actually be a really interesting quarterfinals because you know he's what beaten, happened at the uh, World Tour finals. Exactly, you know, Federer was the favourite to win. He plays Goffin, who who hasn't played well. He's lost to in, in the same tournament to Dimitrov really easily, badly, badly, got crushed. Got crushed, and and then he comes out and he beats Federer, who's meant to be like the you know the the bigger version of Dimitrov. Uh, so it all depends on you know what happens on the day, I guess. But yes. it, I think he's got a little something on, on Federer. I think he can frustrate him. Now let's cut all this. Your predictions. Who do you see winning the men's draw? Come on. I'm going for Federer. Roger. Roger Federer to win. And, if, and two just, outsiders. Two, two outsiders. outsiders. I'm going to go for Dimitrov. I don't even know if he's an outsider anymore. Is he an outsider? Dimitrov, is he an outsider? He's not well, an outsider. Well, he hasn't won a slam, so I'd say yes. Yeah, he's an outsider. So, Dimitrov and Zverev. Ah, oh, he's picked all my all the guys I was going to pick. He's picked. So... You're going to have to go for someone else, Simon. I'd right. say Federer is definitely favourite, but I'm going to say Dimitrov is close behind. Um, just Very because you just, just because you've already picked them all, I'm gonna go for Kyrgios. Yes. Even though I don't believe he can win seven best of five sets right now. But if those again, if those big if guys fall are out, playing, yes, potentially he's got the chance. Potentially, Del Potro, he's won a slam. He knows what it is to win. If he's playing well, he can go through. On the women's side, what do you reckon? Well, with Serena Williams not playing, Azarenka not playing, I mean, it, wide open. It's wide, I, just because Serena's been so dominant in the game, like yes. now, there's, there's a lot of chances for other players to come through. And I think someone like Svitolina, yes. who's recently won, I think in Brisbane, she won the yeah. tournament. So, you know, I think she can do really well. Um, I think, I mean, it, It'll be interesting to see how, how the Brits do. Conta. Know. Conta has been playing well, you know, she had a good Wimbledon. Let's had see whether you know, let's see year. how she can you know whether she can carry some of that form through. Um, Halep, 
you know, she's the number one seed. She's always there. Always there. It's always seems to, you know, she was a, a set up three love up. Uh, and, 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 so close yeah. to winning and so always comes it. back. Yes. So, you know, this could be her year. So perhaps she could, she could take uh, the Grand Slam finally. So have um, a pick. I'm going to go for Svitolina. I'm going to go for Conta. Ooh. That's a big call. It's a big call. It's a big call. I'm just going to go out and Guys, say it. Leave a comment underneath. If you haven't yes. done so already, what are you doing? Have it. They haven't liked the video. Like the video. <laughs> yes, like, like the, the video. video. Comment. Leave a comment. Like the video. You could win our one of our courses. Remember, to we have your own game. Maybe they don't play tennis, though. If you don't play tennis, you better start playing tennis. Yes. Why are you not and, playing tennis? And then start watching our channel. <laughs> exactly. And then we'll improve you, and then hopefully, you know, we can see some other players playing in these Grand Slams. Maybe they're a junior. Who knows? Yes. Anyway, guys, it's, it's been a fun conversation. I liked it. Anything else we haven't covered? Hmm. What about end of year rankings for the men's? Who do end you of think, 2018? Yes. Who do you think at the end of the year is going to be world number one? Oh, I like that. Uh, can Federer go all the way? That's a hard, hard ask for a man who's 36 years old. But... I reckon he's got another two years in him. I think he could play potentially to, until he's in his 40s, but will he want to? Possibly he wants not. To, he wants to set the record, you know, so high that it's that Rafa never has a chance to yeah. catch up. So I, I think as long as he can play and stop Rafa from winning more Grand Slams, I think he'll he will. be playing. That's what yes. I'd be doing. <laughs> right? if, you know. And if you're in the draw, if you're playing the Aussie Open, yes. maybe there's some wild cards floating around. Well, and you I, have to I play. Give me a wild card. Possibly. If there is a wild card going <laughs> out there or a lucky loser spot, I'm always here, guys. Just, just saying. I'm always here. It's only a 24 hour flight from I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> me and Simon have been hitting balls. Okay, we're ready. Yeah. <laughs> right. When did we hit last? Don't tell Maybe. the camera. Don't tell them. <laughs> we're here every day. <laughs> so. What would you do against Federer at the Aussie Open to completely throw him off if you had to play him? Well, I don't think I'd have to throw him off, but I think what I'm gonna, well, what I'd try and do, two things. You've trained with him. So you know. I think, just looking the way he's playing recently, he's, he's standing a lot closer to the baseline. Yes. Like especially in 2017 in the final against uh, um, against Rafa, he, he you know he was uh, he was standing a lot closer into the baseline. He was taking his backhand on a lot more, so he's, yep. he's using that backhand. It's no longer a weakness. Strength now. Yeah. So I think two things you have to you have to rush him. You can't let him play. You can't you can't let him dominate. So you have to uh, a player that's playing against him. You have to rush Federer. You have to. I'd say get in on him, you know, come, in, come forward, uh, make chip him pass, I think, chip in charge of the return. But again, someone like a golfer who frustrated him, who stayed in the long rallies, and I think those big points are going to be crucial. So if you can stay in the long rallies on the big points and come up with something, some magic, you know, and just to frustrate Federer to make him feel like, oh, you know, when, I, when, yes. when there's a big point, he comes up with something crazy, when, and then in the other points, he's rushing me, there's not much rhythm. I think that's the only way you can win. I think in other aspects, he's just too good. <laughs> he's the greatest of all time. He's the GOAT. We he definitely him. is. We love Federer. And how do you think Rafa, do you think he can hold up for the whole season? I mean, he was very vague in his interviews, isn't he? He's like, you, yeah. you, you, know, you never quite know what's going on. You never quite know very how much injured is he. Um, he doesn't really want to give too much away. And, uh, I think it'll be a good test to see whether he does play in the Australian Open. I, I still feel like he, he might not. Um, and, you know, does he have what it takes to, you know, go to the French? I think he'll definitely play the French. He'll want to be yeah, he'll be there. And I think that aura that he has in the French, it will carry him through the first few rounds and then he'll have to dig in to win the next few. Even if he's injured, I think he could still win. Yes. Uh, I don't think he's got a chance at Wimbledon. If, no, you know, I think that I, I ship think, has sailed. I think, I think Federer will, will, will take Wimbledon. Um, and if, I mean, Murray wants to make a comeback at Wimbledon, but I don't think he's going to be fit enough and having I mean, played enough match matches, fit. match fit. Exactly. Um, so I think Federer for there. And uh, then we've got the US Open. And I think maybe for US Open, someone like a Djokovic could make a comeback. And I think- He could be ready. Yeah. But it all depends. I mean, he's got that, you know, he started working with the, the, the mind coach, the, yes. the spiritual guru. I don't Agassi. know. Yeah. Ag yeah. But yeah, it, it, you know, it just, it, it, I don't know whether he's changed too much as a player to 
find the same old Djokovic that he once was, you know, and that, that's, that will be interesting whether he can regain some of that form, some of that confidence, the fire, the fire that he yes. had to try and do something at the, uh, at the big Grand Slams, you know, and uh, it'll be interesting to see. It's going to be a very interesting year, 2018. Can't wait. I just can't wait. You guys should get involved right now. If you haven't done already, make sure you go and like the video, leave your predictions, and hopefully we'll see you inside one of our courses in a couple of weeks' time. Let's clear this video off. Yes. I want to go and watch some of the tennis. I now. want to go and have some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> guys, sure. thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Comment. You know all the stuff. Make sure you follow us on all the social medias. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Alex, anything you want to say? No, I'm out. <laughs> See you guys.